Hey guys, so another review from Five Below. As you see, I went splurging shopping. And this is matcha or machi? Not machi. What is this? Mochi? Mochi. Japanese mochi. So I have two different types of mochi. I have, it says it's a Taiwanese dessert. I got some purple one. I said purple weird. I got some purple one, which I don't know the flavor of it. I already opened the purple one. And I have some green one. Which one is, what, what is these? Is this like matcha flavored? I don't know, but it's green. Here's the green one. Okay, so I haven't tried the green one at all, and I only tried one of the purple one. I didn't really like care much about it, so I want to do a review with y'all guys. So let's try the green one together, and we will do a review on how it tastes and find out what the flavor of it is. Because I thought I've read the flavor on both of them, but there's my cat. You see her in the back? She's sitting there. But I don't know. Oh, it's green tea flavor. Okay, what's the purple one? ube flavor i don't know what ube is i think it's a type of sweet potato so this is green tea flavor how exciting let's open it up the smell was a little weird i remember when i tried the ube flavor i tried so i just tried one of them i didn't really care for it but it was late at night and i said let me just like do this and make make a video on the second one this smells a little bit weird but let's try now people love machi Hope i'm saying it right Okay, maybe it's mochi. So it comes in this cute little nicely well packaged. It only cost me, I think, maybe like five bucks. It was for, it was in five below. So if you see in the snack section, you can pick it up. As it smells like matcha tea. It smells like green tea. Like like when you like actually like brew it. <laughs> that was so cute. Let's pour ourselves out one. It's so soft, it feels like a skin. <laughs> Okay, so it smells like feet, but it's got, so it smells like a nice green tea. It smells like strong green tea. Look at this. It's so chewy. Let's pull this guy out. I think the inside has bean paste in it. I love the feeling. The feel is so fun. It is so squishy. I love it. And also a little disclaimer. I read the package. It says, uh, be careful for choking. Um, let me read it to y'all so y'all be careful too. Yeah. So this product says, in order to avoid choking, please chew and swallow carefully. So be careful. I'm going to chew and swallow it carefully as well. So if you got kids or you like, you know, can't chew things well, be careful of it. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh, it's nice. So it wants to get stuck right there, but it it goes down pretty good. Um, it's very chewy, but not in like a bad gummy way. It's just sticky. This tastes better than the Ube one. Um, I remember from when I tried the Ube one, this one tastes better. It's a strong taste of green tea. Almost like you brewed the tea yourself. I can taste that it is like a matcha green tea. It's very nice. It tastes like, like you literally, I can just imagine like eating this with green tea. It'd be kind of fun. The texture takes into getting used to. It's so soft and fun. The inside is bean. You can taste the bean paste. It is a bean. And it's a green tea flavored bean. So that's interesting to you have to like get used to that like that's something that especially if you're american the american palate might not be really used to but that's different let's finish this guy off i'm going to try the ube again and i'm kind of like more used to it now but it's nice if you like japanese snacks you'll like this it's, it's interesting so here's the ube it's also covered in more powder it's covered in way more powder then the green tea. Okay, so let's try biting it. It's a lot more purpley. But it's covered in way more flour. I think it's a type of starch flour. Still fun, gooey flavor. Still not a fan of the ube. I don't know why, but compared, the green tea is significantly better. 
the bean paste is really strong bean it tastes really really beany and uh the outside casing is still really fresh it's soft it's fresh of course you chew it thoroughly but it's not as good it's just not now i am impressed by the freshness though i opened that box a while ago and just left it and so i make a video when i'm ready to do the other one but it's as if i had just opened it it's super fresh it's keeping its form and its freshness really well but the smell the flavor it's not for me the green tea that one's nice that's basically it guys um, i'm gonna finish this guy later i'll finish real fast for y'all So that's basically it guys. Am I a fan of mochi or mochi? I don't know because I had it, the only time I've ever had mochi was in ice cream. It was mochi covered ice cream and I loved it. It was, you bite into a number of ice cream on the inside. I loved it. This is more, I believe, more traditional. You know, more is pretty, it's cute. I'm not disappointed. I love the freshness of it. But am I a personal fan? I would say no. But if you love Japanese desserts and you love mochi, you'll love Five Below's because it's very fresh. I, I think it's one probably one of the freshest and softest. I, I mean, my first time ever really having it, other than the ice cream one. But you can just tell when something's been made well and this has been made well. That's basically it, guys. Let me know if y'all are a fan of mochi and let me know what your favorite flavor is and which one you think I might like. Because I love the ice cream one but didn't like the bean paste one. Is there another type out there? Tell, let me know in the comments below. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>